Hello YouTube, my name is MJ and today I'm bringing you another embroidery video. I wanted to show more of the start to finish process of how I do pet portraits and this time I'm going to be doing a portrait of Buddy the Black Lab. Um, it's really important to start with a clear high quality photo and as you can see this is a very cute picture of Buddy that I used to do a digital drawing of with my tablet. Um, when I was done with the drawing, I printed it out, and I like to use Aunt Martha's hot iron transfer pencils. Um, I traced the drawing using the Aunt Martha's transfer pencil and using a light board. I just draw all of the lines. Um, I trace the drawing exactly as I see it. And when I'm all done with the drawing, I like to use Heat and Bond Stabilizer for my embroidery project. It's really sturdy, so I stabilize the fabric first, and then I will transfer the drawing onto the fabric. Now, I really like to use square frames for my embroidery projects. I got this tack pusher tool. It's a little tool that you use to push the tacks in, and it comes with a little tool to remove the tacks when you're all done as well. Now, I really like to do this because it uses much less fabric, so when you're using a round embroidery hoop, you don't have to deal with the crimping left behind from the indentation of the hoop when you're all done with your embroidery. The square frame helps with that. Now when it comes to picking out colors for the portrait, this time I use about 15 or so, I always use DMC floss. And all of the stitches that I do here are a blend of short and long stitches as close together as possible. And I always use single ply when I'm doing my embroidery. So I cut the DMC floss to length and I separate the six strands to use one at a time. And I usually have multiple needles going on at once as well. Now you can see here I started with the eye and I always do the eyes first. Anytime you're doing a portrait, if you get the eyes correct, the rest of the portrait works. Now here's an under camera. You can see what it looks like from below while I'm doing my embroidery. Um, and the reason that this works is because I have my embroidery in a frame and then I clip that frame to a stand. So both of my hands can be free while I'm working. I keep my left hand on top of the project and my right hand underneath using my thimble to pass the needle through. And now we can see that the eye is complete, and I'm going to do the nose next. And I'm just going to keep continuing until the portrait is done. And now my favorite part, the movie magic. You can see here is the finished result, and of course, Buddy loved it. Well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys got a little bit more information about how I do my embroidery. And feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Thanks guys!